Yo, just got lost in the woods. There's like an apartment complex across the street. Uh, but this, this reminds me a little bit of uh, Colorado, just like the tall trees in the mountains. Uh, obviously there's no mountains here. Uh, where I am, I'm in Palmer Park in Detroit, Michigan. Um, and I guess there's a bunch of trails here. And uh, yeah, just uh, enjoying it. And I got my camera right there on my bike. Welcome everybody to our video on Palmer Park. You saw some of the forestation going on in that park. One of only a couple places in the city of Detroit where you can be among the trees in the forest. Uh, but we're gonna start off here on Oakman Boulevard. We're gonna show you some of the Oakman Boulevard community, uh, some of the pretty nice looking houses around this area. And then towards the end of the video, we'll get to Palmer Park and show you some stuff around there as well. So this is part one of a three part video of this like area. We're gonna show the park in this video. We're gonna show some neighborhoods in the next two videos after that. One of them is going to be a neighborhood that is quite looking wealthy. Yeah, wealthy houses in Detroit, what, huh? <laughs> yeah, they kind of look insane. Um, but then, after that, we'll go to a more affordable neighborhood that is still one of the best in the city. I guess that's the thing about most places. There's obviously the more expensive houses that will get you in a good neighborhood, but most people aren't going to be able to afford that. So, you know, we're going to also show a neighborhood also around a university on the north side of Detroit. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk about the history of Palmer Park once we get done talking about the history of Oakman Boulevard. So you see this boulevard that we are on and is it was intentionally done in a way where, first of all, <laughs> the curve of it, it's like kind of like a snake shape uh, in terms of the street. So it's not straight up and down or, you know, left to right. It's, you know, it's got some curves to it. It was to connect like Forge Rouge manufacturing plant with the Highland Park manufacturing plant for Ford. And well, what's Highland Park? Well, Highland Park is something that we will talk about because we're gonna show part of it in this video. So stay tuned for that. That sign said Santa Rosa Boulevard. I have some connections to that name. Hee hee hee, if you know what I mean. Back where I'm from. But yeah, the Oakman Boulevard was designed in a way to be beautiful, basically. And yeah, that's why it looks pretty good. Also, one thing to note is that it was not really affected by the demise of other areas throughout the city of Detroit over the past 70 years. So there's a lot of disrepair that even some of the history of Palmer Park went into disrepair, but not Oakman Boulevard and not the community around it. The thing about Palmer Park though, is it's a really good park and it's one of the best in the city of Detroit. It's the third largest. It's at sitting at 296 acres, large, large and in charge, only behind Belle Isle, which is the flashy, the the nasty sicko mode park, um, which is bigger than Central Park in Detroit. And it's the main like one of the main attractions in the city. And then also Rouge Park, which is even bigger than Belle Isle um, on the west side.
Palmer Park. A name that comes from, well, you guessed it, someone named Palmer, a last name Palmer, from a senator back in 1893, donated some of the land that went on to be part of Palmer Park, but he didn't actually want it to be called Palmer Park. He actually wanted it to be called Log Cabin Park. Now, here, yeah, here's the thing. Okay, what do you think is better, Log Cabin Park or Palmer Park? You can decide in the comments. I, I mean, I, I'm kind of iffy on the Log Cabin Park because there's only one log cabin. Now, maybe if there were more, I, I could see it, but I mean, you're really gonna call it, I mean, good try, buddy, but uh, come on, man. I don't know, but I mean, it could still be good, a good name. It's really just whatever sounds best to you. But any, anyways, what's this deal with a log cabin? Well, this is this guy, this guy and his, his family's log cabin, uh, because, uh, well, his wife wanted to get away from the city, um, and do it like the olden days. Yes, in 1893, they wanted to do it like the olden days. <laughs> uh, and, you know, they just had this cabin in the park, which, right now, is only open on one day per year, um, to actually see inside, and it's usually sometime in June. The dealio with that is... Well, a lot of disrepair has happened, like I said, to the park. Um, a lot of the courts, handball courts, which were, you know, championship, national championships w were held there. Um, later on, they were, you know, kind of messed up and had, had to be restored. But it's kind of like Palmer Park is a representation of kind of where Detroit is going to go overall. The Palmer Park used to be kind of in disrepair in that, you know, 1950, 1960, 70 or I guess mostly 70s or later, um, and then came back. Um, almost closed down, actually, in 2010, post-bankruptcy, due to lack of funding. But the people, you gotta give credit to the people, and we will talk more about the people in just one second. I just want to point out that there's a bike lane. Look at, look at the screen. You see bike lanes? Now, there wasn't any bike lane on Oakman Boulevard. Well, you know... Oakman Boulevard built in the early 1900s. Bike lanes, I don't know. Were, were bike lanes a, a real thing back then? Uh, I don't know. I mean, not that they couldn't update it <laughs> at some point. Um, but there's a bike lane here. This is actually Highland Park. So Highland Park is a city that is within the city of Detroit. So it's kind of like the Vatican City inside of Italy sort of dealio. Um, it's just like a city within a city and it has a bike lane so i mean shout out to you highland park even though you were rated like one of the worst cities in you know recent times though so, <laughs> hey hey you win some you lose some hey eh? right 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 but uh highland park is kind of where oakland boulevard ends and then i'm i'm going north at this point and this is the few houses right before we get into the park so we're gonna get there right now we're gonna show you a little bit of what it looks like And a, a couple of things, there's a golf course at this park, there's some trails, there's a lot of green areas. Um, plenty of places to do barbecue, you'll see that soon enough. And also around this area where I'm at is uh, a disc golf course, so that's actually really cool. I did not stop to play, but I am willing to play. I don't have any disc golf discs. I play Ultimate Frisbee, so we kind of use a disc that is... Um, catchable and doesn't kill you if you try to actually catch it um but it, maybe maybe i can be persuaded to go here come back because i think i didn't i didn't even check out much of the trails so hey what what do we put on the table 25 likes to get me to come back here i will buy one maybe even two disc golf discs and i will go play and film a video for you all so uh yeah, if you want, you know, let me know if you want to see that. But this is um, right before I filmed the intro part of the video. So there's going to be a forest over here that I stop at. And that's where that was filmed. But a lot of 
new stuff going on at the park. The splash pad over on the west side of Palmer Park. Um, yeah, yeah, like some water, especially during months where it is hot in the summer, stuff like that helps out a bunch. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> I mean, forest. Oh, that actually reminds me. Oh, you gotta stay tuned for uh, my first mountain biking experience. It, it looks something like this. It's not over here. It's actually at another park that I mentioned earlier on in the video. But here, that's actually the log cabin over there on the right. There's some horses here you might see. Um, although, they didn't walk around in front of me. But yeah, that log cabin. So, there's something I wanted to say about the people. People for Palmer Park. And... You know, they really saved the park and they've they've made it their mission to keep this park going, restore it where needed, and even improve it. So I think there's still issues with funding, um, but it's really about, about the income. If you can get donators to put money into the park, that's good. If you can somehow make that log cabin uh, an attraction once again, then hey, maybe you can make some money out of that and keep the park going. And there's some improvements um, that are planned, um, some like restoration of the Merrill Humane Fountain, which hasn't had water going through it in 50 years. So yeah, there's also Lake Francis, which is pretty good, which you'll see it coming up. But yeah, you see some tennis courts. There's, you know, in this area, there's also the handball courts. Um, you've seen a basketball court or two. <laughs> Just a bunch of area and especially people, locals, they'll show up here every weekend. They'll show up here, do your barbecues. It's a common thing to do here. Overall, it's just one of the nicer parks you'll see. So, I mean, hopefully you did enjoy this walkthrough. This is probably my favorite part of the park. Just seeing Lake Francis named after the mother-in-law of that senator we talked about who originally basically founded the park. But I really like this area. Just, you know, take a stroll around the water. Like I said, hopefully we can come back to this area. 25 likes. Do, do some trails. Do some uh, disc golfing. Yes, that would be sick. And then here's some of the fountain. Here's what it looks like. It's actually, you know, some parts have been taken off of it, vandalized restoration. This could be the next project for this park uh, to improve. And so hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos on Detroit, more of the neighborhoods around this, some of the wealthy neighborhoods, some of the crazy houses around here, and then also some of the not so good things. Your choice on what you want to see, but I have the videos in store for you today and other places in the future. Peace out, my friends. Thank you for watching.